My name is Chris Yanisak. My name is Sarah Pollitt. I have never been to China before. I have never been to China before. About the first couple hours, first half of the trip, I'd say the words that come to mind are concrete and construction. The palace is around 386 years old, which is quite impressive and like nothing I could ever see in the United States. The cave doesn't remember me, the cave doesn't care, and I'll remember this for the rest of my life. Uh, I made a face, Chris made a piano, and uh, we sort of teamed up and helped each other out, which was really fun. I hadn't really even known that, that China produced wine. It was probably something pretty new for them, but I was pleasantly surprised it was really good. We are visiting the uh, World Sculpture Park in Changchun. It features 450 different sculptures from artists uh, over 215 different countries. Oh my gosh, this... <laughs> that maybe would have changed things before I drank it. Uh, we went out there to visit some of the small organic farms out there where we decided to pick some fresh organic produce to later cook in a hot pot, which is a local Manchurian way of cooking food. This one's probably going at the normal pace, maybe an Amtrak, a slow Amtrak car goes. So we spent all morning today on our first day in Harbin, walking along Central Street. Which is famous for its cobblestone roads and shopping. She's more of the egg eater, I'm the, the meat eater, the smoked pork. I'm very much looking forward to here, so I'm gonna start with that. And I've never gotten so close to these swans or geese before, and it was just a really cool experience. And the tigers, I just couldn't believe how big they were. I mean, these things were like horses, just enormous and really beautiful. St. Sophia Church is a Russian Orthodox church, and at the very top of the dome, you see this really gorgeous chandelier hanging down, quite beautiful.